Hi and welcome back to AWE USA 2023. I'm here at Happily Robotics and wow, I'm so happy that I found this booth. This is one of the most satisfying things that I've done in a long time. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, so um, what is it? Uh, this is a haptics force feedback device. So it's able to give you the pressure to you feel that you're interacting with something digital in the within your computer. So you're running a simulation, but you're actually getting the impression that you're touching that thing. Right, and the impression is so real. So as you can tell, there is like a ball that I the, that I can control with this kind of uh, um, chopstick. <laughs> okay, hand, handle sounds more professional. And um, yeah, there's some jelly, and I, I have the, the best kind of haptics in this handle. So when the ball goes cl close to this, I feel more resistance, yeah? And I can, oh yeah, okay, you can even see the force here. And the interesting thing is, I can also go through this jelly, and oh, this is so satisfying. This kind of plop that it makes, right? And also the other way around. Also, when I'm getting closer to the edge, and I'm going off, it's exactly what I would expect. Oh, it feels so good. It, it is, like you said before, it is the most satisfying fidget spinner that I've ever seen. <laughs> but but tell us please, uh, what is the real use case? Yeah, uh, so it's used in, mostly in surgical simulation training. So people can get what it feels like to cut into uh, tissue, to drill into bone. They get the vibration that you would need. Um, that's its main application. And not only are you getting the feedback and the feeling, but you're also very accurately tracking your tools. So you can do things like competency-based training, where you're actually measuring somebody's accuracy or efficacy at doing a task. And so it's really popular. They're really popular devices um, in that industry, surgical simulation. Okay, that makes sense. I also imagine that this would be perfect together with virtual reality. Correct. Right? Yeah. Is it being used with VR headsets? Yeah, so we have a hardware device that uh, inputs to a game, just like a headset inputs to a game. And through that experience, you can get this uh, rendering of touch as well as rendering of sight. And so you get kind of full immersion of your senses. So you are using it. Wow. I love this. <laughs> I wanted just to play with it. Um, how expensive is it? Is it available right now? It is available right now. It's about 5,000 US dollars. Um, and we're selling them, we have been selling them for a year and we're scaling up production, so. Wow, super impressed. Thank you so much for showing off uh, this device. Uh, what, what's the name of this device? This is the Inverse 3. Inverse 3? Mm -hmm. Okay, Inverse 3 from Happily. And it is available right now. Are you, are you um, sending this worldwide? We are selling worldwide, yeah. You heard it. So th I just found it here, walking the, yeah, walking AWE and wow. I love these haptics. Thank you so much. Yeah, a short video here from AWE, but I simply need to show you this. Haptics is next level and probably together with VR, okay. This is the perfect simulation. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and looking forward to see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.